And so tonight we're, we're very proud to highlight a partnership between the County Department of Public Health, my office, USC, and Lieberman Research Worldwide in Century City, City, as well as collaborators at UCLA and Stanford to address serology and the tests that will measure antibodies in the blood, tests that will help us move from crisis to recovery and to see how many people, in fact, are infected or have been infected with this novel coronavirus. This partnership will accelerate research and development and help us answer questions that are key to what you want to hear. When, Mayor, are we going to get back to normal? So to say a few words, I'd like to turn it over now to a great leader. Uh, as I mentioned, she's been a leader not only in education, in higher education, but here already in Los Angeles. Uh, somebody who's been extraordinary in everything from the environment to ensuring that her workers have the dignity that they need and the resources they need in this crisis. I want to thank you, Dr. Folt, and ask you to say a few words. Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for your leadership and for your partnership. Uh, even though Los Angeles is practicing social distancing, collaborations like this are bringing us much closer and we're learning how to do it on warp speed. So it's really important for us. This study is led by USC Price Professor Niraj Sood and this antibody study will provide critical information for us and for the rest of the world on how to combat this pandemic and find a pathway to potential end of this crisis. It's a unique partnership between USC and the Los Angeles County Public Health Department, and it shows how much can be achieved when we work together. Since last weekend and just over, over the next few weeks, Professor Sood and his team are already testing a representative number of people across Los Angeles County to determine what proportion of Angelinos have been infected with COVID-19. And I want to have a special thanks to the Keck USC medical student, Peggy Ebner, because she jumped right in with a number of her fellow medical students to volunteer to assist Dr. Sood in performing these tests at sites around Los Angeles. The data that they are gathering will absolutely help us better understand just how contagious and deadly the virus is so that our hospitals, our public officials, and the public can plan accordingly. The study will help us identify people who can also donate their plasma to fuel new treatments for COVID-19. In the future, Dr. Soon and his collaborators hope to make antibody taste testing available to every Angelino. And this would be so helpful, it would help ease anxiety for people who are worried about contracting the virus, and it will also be an important fundamental step towards restarting our economy. And I just want to thank everyone who's been working on this amazing collaborative effort, Dr. Sood and his team, including his collaborators at Stanford and UCLA, Mayor Garcetti and the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health, LA City Council member-elect, Kevin DeLeon, and U.S. Schwarzenegger Institute. Since the crisis began, USC has been so proud to be on the front lines with healthcare workers at Keck Medicine of USC, at the LA County, and other hospitals to support our neighbors in this difficult time and to partner on vitally important studies and initiatives like this. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you so much, President Folt, and thank you for everything that USC is doing and our incredible academic community across Los Angeles. The, uh, the study for the antibodies, what have you, at USC, wondering when can we expect some of those results from that study? Yes, so what we're trying to do in the study is try to try to measure the true extent of COVID infection in the population. So we not only want to understand how many symptomatic cases there are, those are the ones that are typically reported to LA County Public Health. But in partnership with LA County Public Health, we want to also track the asymptomatic cases or the mild cases with mild symptoms that were never reported. So the true goal of the study is to really understand the extent of the infection today and also to trace it over time so that we have we heard questions about when is the economy going to open. To really answer that question in a scientific way, we need to track what's happening to this epidemic. Are the number of cases rising over time? Are they falling over time? When will the number of cases start to kind of go down? So that's what we're trying to do with the study. And uh, there was a question about, you know, when are, the, when are we going to see the results? Uh, well, as soon as possible. I know uh, the numbers from the study are vital for guiding public health decisions and public policy decisions. 
and therefore it's important to really vet those results, uh, make sure other scientists look at them before we start making decisions based on those results. And that's the process we are undergoing right now. We've, uh, we've completed the data collection, but we're analyzing the data and sharing it with other scientists and making sure uh, the conclusions we are drawing from the data are accurate uh, before we start making decisions based on them. Thank you so much, Dr. Sood. And I want to thank Dr. Folt because when I heard about this um, from Dr. Simon, and I think originally it was going to be funded to do once a month, I called Dr. Folt. I said, this is something we need to fund more often. She stepped up, and I want to thank USC and the USC community for agreeing to do that so that this is something every couple weeks now that we can get this data. Because for decision makers like me, knowing those percentages are going to be critically important. There is going to be a reluctance overall for people to begin a new normal until there actually is a vaccine. And we know that that could be a year, a year and a half at the earliest, correct? COVID-19 is, is still a new disease and we're still trying to understand uh, uh, you know, what it would do. So I don't think, uh, we don't know for sure that uh, we would need a vaccine to get back to normal. Uh, there is a likelihood that we might be able to get back to normal uh, much earlier than that. Uh, but we still don't know how much time that would take, whether that might happen in a month or that might happen in two months. And, and that's why we need the science to track the epidemic, to figure out how many people are getting infected, how are the number of infections changing over time, do we, see, do we start seeing the number of infections go down over time. And, and as we start seeing infections go down, we know then that that's a safe time to try to uh, re-enter or restart the, the economy. So I think we have to do this in a scientific way, uh, but uh, hopefully we don't have to wait for a vaccine for 18 months. I think uh, there's a good chance that this might happen uh, earlier than that. Obviously this test is for research purposes. This is a random sample, but there are people who are seeking out this test um, for their own personal information. And I'm wondering if the city or the county has looked into ramping up the availability um, for residents to be able to obtain these antibody tests, obviously interest is quite high in finding out this information. You know, ever since word got out that I'm involved in this study, uh, my email is, is filled with a request from Los Angelinos saying uh, they want to participate in this study or, or they just want to know, they want to peek inside their immune system and they want to know whether or not uh, they have these antibodies. Uh, there is a lot of anxiety around COVID and I feel that once we have validated tests, it is really important to uh, provide access to these tests to every Los Angelino, uh, so that, you know, every Angelino, so that they know uh, what's going on inside their body, they know how much protection they have uh, from a potential reinfection from COVID. So I think this is, this is important both for easing anxiety as well as eventually reopening the economy. We want people who are uh, potentially immune from this, or at least have significant protection from COVID-19. And as the mayor said, we want to uh, do the PCR test at the same time uh, to make sure they, they don't have the ability to infect others. So if you can identify a population that doesn't infect others or has a low risk of infecting others because their PCR test was negative, and with a valid antibody test, uh, we can identify a population that also is potentially immune. These are the individuals who can actually be on the front lines, take care of the elderly, take care of people in ICUs, and, and, and restart our economy. So that is the, the long run hope uh, for what we achieve, hope to achieve uh, with this study and beyond. Thank you. Let me start by uh, just thanking again Dr. Folt, who has been here this whole time. I'm going to let her also, as, as I go into Spanish remarks in a second, uh, get back to the important work that she's doing at USC and, and thank again uh, both of our doctors for the exceptional work that they are doing to understand this, to track this, and to save lives. I want to thank you both.